Hello, fellow safety and health professional, and welcome to another podcast in a series of podcasts based on an article in Safety and Health magazine that's all about you. Yippee! Have a day off. That's right. Today is my day off, or at least when I wrote this article, it was my day off. Uh, I've been back in the saddle, as they call it, uh, working six days a week, 12 hours a day at a nuclear power plant, uh, which I'll be continuing to do until uh, next week, actually. Uh, I'm almost done. Uh, Then I want to go over to another power plant and start working, but then I'll be working four days a week, 10 hours a day. So it'll be like a vacation. But today, when I wrote this article, is my scheduled day off. Since being back in the workplace, I've noticed that nearly everyone I work with, especially when you work six days a week, cherishes their day off as if it was the oasis of their week. Indeed, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But it has made me realize firsthand what it means to base your happiness on your days off. And so many people do. It's as if the rest of the week is a stint in prison. Now, during my attack stress at work seminar, which I've done many, many times for all different companies, I include two activities which often elicit surprising and humorous comments. Uh, People say the most craziest stuff, fun. Uh, During the first activity, I go around the room and ask each person to tell me about something they experience at work that causes them stress, that upsets them. I never know what I'll hear. Uh, people say the craziest things bother them. Uh, then we brainstorm. I put it up on a whiteboard, each thing that a person said. Then everybody in the group, we go back and go through each one. And we brainstorm for suggestions on way to uh, cut down on how this thing stresses you. Uh, The suggestions are often quite innovative, insightful, and sometimes just funny. The second activity, though, is my favorite. Each person in the room relates what they enjoy, besides making money, of course, about their job. And I give them time to think about it. I say, look, really, what do you like about your job? What what do you enjoy about your day-to-day activities at work? Now, one common work delight theme that people tell me is has to do with camaraderie, that they enjoy interacting with other people in various ways, whether it's having coffee with work friends during breaks or collaborating with colleagues on a new project. It's the engaging with others that attendees proclaim it stimulates good feelings at work, and I feel the same. My favorite parts of work mostly had to do with interacting with other people. Because if I think back on my experience at work these past six days, my favorite parts were my interactions with others. Joking around with my coworkers and kind heartedly making fun of each other was delightful. It was fun. Now, my work is serious. Uh, I've been a radiation protection technician is what I've been doing uh, besides speaking. I've still been speaking too. Uh, and I didn't let any of my uh, being jovial and, you know, clowning around, I didn't let that impair with my diligence and overall and performance. So, uh, actually, on the contrary, because when I wasn't, like, being diligent and doing stuff that I had to focus on and not clown around, my clowning around and being fun helped me do better when I was focused. So I don't think... For any of us as a safety and health professional that uh, being uh, upbeat and fun-loving can will hurt you as far as your ability to perform as long as you don't let it in- interfere with that. So what about you? Aren't there many things about your work as a safety and health professional that you enjoy? Things you do that feel good? Uh, they don't have to include other people, but I think most of the time they will. 
And I'm sure there are things you don't like about your job. There's no way you can like every single aspect of your job. And if you do, please get in touch with me because I want to know who that person is who likes every single thing about their job. Now, even if your position is precisely the one you wished for, no doubt there are still activities, people, and situations that irk you. Now, I often must wear protective clothing besides your particular uh, you know, common PPE like hard hat, safety glasses, and shoes. I have to wear, you know, P, uh, PPE that is more, you know, uh, extra rubber gloves and uh, we call them PCs, protective clothing, over top of my regular stuff. And especially when it's hot and I'm around heated components, it's uncomfortable. But that's not what I dwell on. I don't think, oh, my job is horrible because I have to do that. No, instead, I think about the positive aspects of my situation. So here's a personal activity that will help you enjoy your work more, which I've done many times myself over the years, and I've had people do in my sessions do. Write out a list of what you like about your job. Now here are five items from the list I wrote when I wrote this article earlier today I put down. Number one. I like when we get together in the morning now uh, and go over our shift briefing. Uh, when we first come in, everybody makes fun of each other for different reasons. You know, if you had a day off, uh, what would you do? Nothing on your day? You know, clown around before we start the briefing. But I like the briefing. It lets me know what's going on in the plant. Number two, the appreciation I receive from people after doing a radiation survey of the work area. I have uh, had so much Good feelings come to me when I do surveys and check out a workplace and then tell somebody, look, here's what the dose rate is in the area. Here's what you're dealing with. And they thank me. It just feels good. I also like collaborating with workers, other friends, and people I've been working with to set up a laydown area for equipment. Before we put equipment down, you have to set down uh, a laydown area uh, if it's going to be contaminated and radioactive. I like doing that. I don't, it's just fun to do. Writing in the shift logbook. Uh, a lot of people say, you like doing that? I do. I like writing down what we've done to pass on to the next shift. It just feels good. It feels like we're I'm being helpful. And I particularly like post-project briefings if the project went well. Which is most of the time, you know, there's occasions where we've had, I've had post-job briefings where there was problems. And I don't, don't enjoy them as much as the ones, which are most of the time, where everything went well. And now, one of my favorite activities has nothing to do with my actually working on a job site. But I think most of us have this type of thing, which is our like routine in the morning before we go to work. I love, I have a cup of coffee in my car, and I listen to books on the way to work. And I like it. I have to do it, right? I have to drive to work, and I really enjoy that part of my life. So why not make out a uh, what I like about work list of your own? After finishing my list, I also realized how blessed I am to be in a profession that helps other people work safely. Whether it's you know, industrial safety, you know, making sure people tie off and that the scaffold looks good. Or in my case recently, it's been mostly radiological safety, but still safety. Either way, we're helping other people live better lives or at least not get hurt. And that's a wonderful profession. And too often we dwell on what we don't like about our jobs. In fact, as I've mentioned in other articles, humans tend to notice the negative aspects of everything they experience whether it's shopping, meeting people, or even eating at a restaurant. Of course, you should not put your head in the sand. Don't be like, oh, everything is perfect and I don't need to change anything. I don't mean that. I just mean in general. Pay attention and focus on the stuff that you like. If you do that, you will enjoy your work more and your life in general. <clears throat> but don't get me wrong, by the way. I love my days off. 